until you are endued with the Holy Spirit. And in Acts chapter 2, verse 1 said, this was a house party now, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all assembled together in one place. Watch me preach. When suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a rushing or a violent tempest blast and it filled the whole house. Somebody tell them, the, the Holy Ghost came in a house party. Isn't that something? The Holy Ghost didn't even come in the church. The Holy Ghost came in the house. Y'all didn't hear what I just said. And look here, and some folk think that's the only place you can feel the Holy Ghost is in the church. And when the Holy Ghost originally showed up in the house, tell your neighbor, the first part house party was a Holy Ghost house party. The Holy Ghost discovered the house party. The sinners didn't discover it. God created the house party. Y'all better hear me preach. The Holy Ghost came. Are y'all hearing me preach? It was a house party in Mark chapter 2 when the boys were carrying the man. Four of them were carrying one, Alan, and they went to a house party and Jesus was inside doing business at a house party. Tell your neighbor, Jesus worked at a house party. At a house party and the fellows went on top of the roof because it was too crowded at the house party. They couldn't get in the door so they tore the roof off the house so they could let the man in. Tell your neighbor, it was a house party. It was a house party in, in, in Luke chapter 10. Remember when you remember when Zacchaeus was up in the in, in the sycamore tree and Jesus said, Come down, I want to go to your house with you. It was a house party when Zacchaeus said, I give four times more than I took. Tell him that was a house party. No, 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 no. It was a house party when Jesus went to Jeharis's house and his daughter was dead. And in the house party, he told some folk, you need to get out the room because you really don't know how to party like I need to party. You too sad at the party. You crying at the party. I need some laughing and shouting at the party. You dead at the party. Ain't nobody dead in this party because it's a Holy Ghost party. Get out of the room, all the dead folk. And when the dead folk left the room, he spoke to to the dead girl and said, Tabitha, come alive. Tell your neighbor, that was a house party. I'm talking about a house party. It was a house party when Jesus told Martha, you worry too much. <laughs> you remember when he went on with her? She's scurrying around in the kitchen. He's like, you... You bother about too much stuff. Tell your neighbor, he's talking about a house party. So that was the reason why the early church was so successful. Because they didn't limit their God behavior to the confines of a sanctuary. Y'all hear me preach. I said the reason the early church was so successful because they didn't limit their God behavior. Their how you, how you doing, honey? <laughs> the smiles and the niceties and, and, and the studying and, 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 and to actually demonstrate his power. They didn't limit it to the church. Because if you read this Bible, if you're really careful reading the Bible, Jesus did more work at the house than he really did at the church. But what we've done, we do more work at the church than we do at the house. And our houses are messed up and we can't get the church right because the folk ain't acting right at the house. And they bring the house stuff to the church. And if they acted right in the house, the problem wouldn't be in the church. Because we'd have got it straight at home before we got to church, and then we wouldn't have to push a shout. You'd already have a shout because you'd have got your shout at home. But if you got hell at home, it's hard to have God at the church if you got hell at home, and you're the same hellish person that came from a hell home, and you're bringing the hell to the church, so you can't lift holy hands if you're in the church, if you got hell at home. But if the Holy Ghost at home, ain't no problem having the Holy Ghost at church. I know what's wrong with some folk. You got hell at home. You drive in hell. You walk in hell. Turn me back up. You, you do whatever you're doing in hell, and when you get to church, you, it's hard to have holy you can't
can't sleep in a hell bed and come in and sit on a holy pew and be holy. That's the reason the early church was so successful. Huh. Because they got it right at home. Y'all hear me? We're building the family. Y'all going to stay with me. We right in moving from milk to meat territory. Huh. The God behavior was at home rather than just gatherings at the church. Somebody tell me to preach. Huh. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost was allowed to do in the early church what drugs, alcohol, and sex does now. Oh yeah, y'all looked up then, didn't you? Anytime we talk about sex, y'all. Yeah, sex. S-E-X. X-rated. Listen, I said the Holy Ghost did in the early church and can do now what we allow drugs, alcohol, and sex to do. Let me show you. Go to Acts 2 again. You remember now they call the police when you get too loud? Y'all know what happened in Acts chapter 2? They got too loud at the house party and and folks said, hey, 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 y'all making too much noise. Y'all must be drunk. And Peter jumped up in verse 14 to 14. Peter standing with the eleven raised his voice and addressed them. Hey, you think I'm loud now? I'm going to explain what's going on. You Jews and all you residents of Jerusalem, let me explain to you. So you'll know and understand. Listen closely to what I have to say. These men are not drunk. As you might imagine. Because this is just the third hour of the day. But what has happened is the Bible has come true. And Jesus showed up in our house. And we got to shout. So we ain't making noise because we're rowdy. We're making noise because we got the Holy Ghost. Somebody say Hallelujah. I want to talk about a house party. So, so, so today, we will spread out all over Kalamazoo and vicinity to recapture what the church for years has forgotten to really have as a house party. Y'all didn't hear what I just said. So today at 4 o'clock, our church will spread out in 53 different locations all over Kalamazoo and vicinity. And we're going to have some house parties this afternoon, Reverend Burns, because we're going to recapture what the church has forgotten how to do. Y'all, I'm, I'm going to preach this. Let's visit the text and see what's so special about a house party. This church was much like Mount Zion. Verse 41 he said, therefore, those who welcomed this message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to the church. We said we got about 3,000 souls on the record. All right? It's but much like Mount Zion, about 3,000 souls, and uh, they had a great back baptism experience. Reverend Boyd and Reverend Harris had just left the pool after baptizing about 3,000 folks. Can y'all see it? Can y'all see him up there now? Hollering at us, telling us to shout, and talking about how, you know, how happy they are, and they, they really feeling the spirit of God in the water. So, so Rem Harris and Rem.